Charles Dickens' first book was titled The Posthumous Papers of the Pickwick Club, or simply The Pickwick Papers, published in 1836. The book opens with the Pickwick Club members commemorating their founder, Samuel Pickwick, during a gathering. Mr. Pickwick plans to tour the nation in quest of research and stories. His three best friends, Mr. Tupman, Mr. Snodgrass, and Mr. Winkle, will go with him. Mr. Jingle, a purported actor and scam artist, is introduced to the Pickwickians. A local doctor is insulted by Mr. Jingle at their first stop, and the doctor suggests a fight. However, Mr. Winkle, not Mr. Jingle, is given the challenge due to a misidentification. Thankfully, the battle is avoided when the enraged doctor discovers Mr. Winkle is not the one who insulted him. Mr. Wardle extends an invitation for the Pickwickians to stay at Manor Farm. While there, Mr. Tupman starts pursuing Mr. Wardle's sister, Miss Rachel Wardle, while Mr. Snodgrass becomes attached to one of Mr. Wardle's daughters, Emily. When the Pickwickians run into Mr. Jingle again during a cricket match, Mr. Wardle extends an invitation for him to come to Manor Farm. Mr. Jingle succeeds in ending Mr. Tupman's relationship with Miss Wardle and convinces her to elope with him instead. They are met by Mr. Pickwick and Mr. Wardle at an inn, where Mr. Wardle pays Mr. Jingle before he departs. Sam Weller, who works at the inn, is another person Mr. Pickwick meets there and is quite impressed with. Back in London, Mr. Pickwick discusses his intention to engage Sam as a servant with Mrs. Bardell, his landlady. Mrs. Bardell passes out in Mr. Pickwick's arms, thinking he is asking her to marry him. When Mr. Pickwick's friends arrive, they see him hugging her, a most uncomfortable scenario. During election season, the Pickwickians pay Etans will a visit. Mr. Pickwick runs across Mr. Jingle, who is now going by an alias, again at a party. Mr. Pickwick and Sam pursue Mr. Jingle as he runs away. Sam encounters Mr. Jingle's servant Job Trotter, who promises to assist them in stopping Mr. Jingle, but it's a ruse. Rather, Mr. Jingle and Job make their escape, and Mr. Pickwick finds himself in a humiliating predicament. Two attorneys, Dodson and Fogg, sent Mr. Pickwick a letter alerting him to Mrs. Bardell's lawsuit, alleging breach of contract as a result of their unmarried status. After his return to London, Mr. Pickwick makes an unsuccessful attempt to reason with Dodson and Fogg. Sam and Mr. Pickwick run across Sam's father, a coachman, who is vehemently critical of his second wife, Sam's stepmother, while on their way to see his own attorney. He also says he knows where Job Trotter and Mr. Jingle are. A misunderstanding results in the arrest of Sam and the Pickwickians, who are then taken before the judge. Fortunately, Sam has discovered that Mr. Jingle is using a false identity to remain at the magistrate's residence. Mr. Pickwick alerts the magistrate, escapes from danger, and stops Mr. Jingle from carrying out his next plan. Sam meets the magistrate's attractive young housemaid, Mary, in a friendly manner at the same time. When Sam goes to see his stepmother, he encounters Mr. Stiggins, a devout man who seems more focused on fulfilling his own needs than those of others. Mr. Weller dislikes his wife's new companion, and Sam agrees with him. The Pickwickians reunite at Manor Farm over the Christmas season to commemorate Bella Wardle's marriage to Mr. Trundle. Mr. Snodgrass and Emily Wardle resume their affair, while Mr. Winkle gets to know Miss Arabella Allen, a young woman who seems to be one of their friends. They also meet Ben, Miss Allen's brother, and Bob Sawyer, Ben's friend, who are also planning to become doctors. Sam, Mr. Tupman, Mr. Winkle, Mr. Snodgrass, and Mr. Winkle are summoned to testify in Bardell versus Pickwick. Mr. Pickwick's trial goes poorly, 
and he is made to pay £750. Despite knowing that his refusal would result in jail time, he still refuses. Mr. Pickwick visits Bath with his friends as a way to kill time. Mr. Winkle escapes to Bristol after unintentionally incurring the anger of his envious spouse. When Mr. Winkle and Ben Allen reunite in Bristol, Arabella is seen crying for an unknown stranger, whom her brother is unsure about. Mr. Winkle enlists Sam's assistance after deciding he has to meet Miss Allen one more time. Sam learns that Mary, the attractive housemaid, is now employed in a house close to Miss Allen's lodging. Arabella and Mr. Winkle are set to meet thanks to the cooperation of Sam, Mary, and Mr. Pickwick. But before Mr. Pickwick can help any more, he is detained and sent to a debtor's jail. Due to his riches, Mr. Pickwick is able to purchase everything he needs. Therefore his suffering in debtor's jail is less than that of other inmates, and Sam plans to get jailed for debt and enters the prison with Mr. Pickwick because he fears that he will be mistreated there. They discover Job Trotter and Mr. Jingle, both sick and frail, in the jail. Mr. Pickwick assists them in order for them to start healing. Mrs. Bardell is arrested by Dodson and Fogg on the grounds that she owes them money despite Mr. Pickwick's insistence that he remain in prison permanently. She is imprisoned with Mr. Pickwick. Mr. Pickwick arranges the release of himself, Sam, Mrs. Bardell, Mr. Jingle, and Job after realizing that if he pays his fees, she would be freed as well. He finds out that Mr. Winkle and Arabella Allen eloped while he was incarcerated. They seek for his assistance in telling Mr. Winkle's father and Arabella's brother the news. Despite the fact that neither family is first happy with the marriage, they eventually learn to accept it since Mr. Pickwick tries his best. Mr. Pickwick finds out that Emily Wardle and Mr. Snodgrass are also in love. Even though Mr. Wardle is hesitant to sanction the marriage, he does so in the end and Manor Farm hosts another wedding. Mr. Pickwick declares that he will no longer be traveling and that he will be dismantling the Pickwick Club. He purchases a home and settles down with Sam, keeping an eye on his friends and their growing families. When Mr. Pickwick discovers that Sam has feelings for Mary, who is now employed by the new Mr. and Mrs. Winkle, he makes plans to have Mary serve as his housekeeper in order to facilitate Sam and Mary's marriage. If you have any suggestions of which book I should summarize, please let me know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe.